Hello guys, today we'll be doing a reading on Jay Young from the K-pop boy group NCT 127. Let's get into it. Let's see. We will start off with a personality reading first. Let's see what type of person Jay Young is. Let's mm -hmm. see. Let's read his personality. Mm -hmm. Jay Young from NCT. Okay. Let's see. Okay, Spirit, can you give us a little insight on Jay Young for NCT? We got artists, light attributes. So he's definitely doing something in the field that he loved, but I feel like he may have other uh, talents and it doesn't even have to be just like related to music. It could be other things like maybe actually being an artist or maybe uh, modeling or maybe acting. And that's what I'm seeing because he has a lot of inspiration that he could open up beyond just music and actually be good at okay and i pulled my first card that i pulled out was the uh six of sword in reverse um it, it gives me that he maybe sometimes self-doubt himself because he's um is giving me self-sabotage like he probably sabotage himself or sabotage success or, or not feeling deserving of it so we're gonna um get clarification on that shape. Shifter. He sees a lot of potential in things that he decides he wants to do and things that he feel like that he's able to do. I feel like um, Trey Young is somebody that really wants to do more than just one thing. I feel like he wants to spread out his talent and get more creative in different types to different type of uh, sections, areas. And he's well, he can uh, adapt to situations. Okay, mm -hmm. he has the personality to adapt. And get along. And then we got exorcist and the shadow attributes. I feel like he has some fear when it comes to facing his own, like his own self, his own demons, like the card said. I feel like he really hides and holds back when it's time for him to face himself. I feel like he's like, nope, I'm just going to throw it to the side and ignore it. And I feel like that's not, I feel like that may be a problem for him as the future continues. Yeah, it's like he's the type that. You know, instead of being speaking negative on something, even though something may hurt him, he'd rather keep it and bury it down deep, the below the surface and make it seem like everything is okay. And sometimes uh, that's not always a good thing because it's always best to express yourself. And, and but you got to feel safe and, and feel like you can. So yes, we got the monk nun and the uh, shadow attributes. It lets me know that he really i feel like he may have experienced some negativity from the outside world due to being an idol i feel like he sees that it's like his view on the world is kind of like in a negative light i feel like because he's afraid to face his own um, his own self so i feel like when situations come around that's not typically pleasing to him he kind of feels like oh that's kind of negative mm -hmm. okay and we have the two of swords here and then we got the um Two of Swords, I kind of see that as being, he's somebody that really is torn between a lot of things. Like, I feel like decisions, when decisions come around, I feel like he has a hard time trying to pick up yeah. on which one he should take. He, he, he doubts himself, you know, it's, and which makes the decision hard to make for him, okay? So he's always in a stillness, you know, always thinking um, instead of doing. and Because, he's, mm -hmm. he, you know, he, he doubts his abilities. We got father in the shadow attributes. I feel like sometimes he may feel that, oh, being an idol, it brings him some type of power over people. I feel like he's definitely somebody that may um, see, um, what is this? It's an abuse of authority. Say. Yeah. Okay. With the um, shadow, the father shadows. Uh, with the father card, okay, the father card to me, it's giving me someone that's nourishing, that's taking care of, protective. But then it was in the, in the reverse. So I don't know if he he feels, um, uh, it says abuse of authority. Okay, so which, uh, with the self-doubt, which kind of probably makes him feel like he's um, not protected in situations. Which, which makes him not want to speak up, okay. Because when you don't feel protected to be able to express your feelings, um, you, you hold them inside. Mm -hmm. We got the king and the shadow attributes. I feel he has some type of feeling of entitlement. I feel that he wants to be put on a higher pedestal than other members. I feel like he wants to get more than the other, mem other members because I know he is a... a um, 
uh, uh, he's in a group of nine people. So I feel like he wants to sometimes be able to put himself above others and be like, okay, you know, um, like I want this, I want that type of thing. I feel like he may feel like he may be, like I said, he should be put on a uh, high pedestal versus other members. And it may be unrealistic for him, okay, which uh, kind of brings us back to uh, the stuff that it's unrealistic for him to want to put himself above others. Because I don't think he has that type of power to do that. Like with the, I feel like he may not be on SM radar to even do that. Yeah. That's why I'm kind of see with the sun and the uh, shadow, I mean, the reverse with Jay Young. I kind of see that he gives off false impressions sometimes. Like, I feel like he hides a lot. I feel like the persona he shows on camera isn't really him. Mm -hmm. There's another persona that's really him that he don't really show to many people. I feel like he really keeping in until yeah. he feels like he has to show it and stuff. So, I feel like he's kind of scared to come out and really be himself in a way. Yeah, and I think that from his past, it has made him feel that way okay especially with the father upside down he feel like he's um, not able to express himself in a safe um, environment therefore he keeps it to himself and therefore we never really get to see the real him okay because yeah. he's afraid to express that side of him mm -hmm. and maybe he he buried it so far now that deep he, down he don't even know what it is no more exactly yeah he yeah. don't even know who he is now no. it's like he's lost he's lost himself um in, in his own head in his own self doubts okay yes. and we're going to move on to his general reading now to pick up and see what's going on around jay young right now yes as far as careers and, and everything like that and just a general whatever spirit would like to tell us about him today yes. you know how he's feeling in his current state as we know he's in his head he's down his cell Okay, he he's uh, always in a moment of stillness, confusion, not being yep. able to make decisions. With the void voyage, you already have all the answers. He's feeling lost right now. I'm saying he's feeling lost right now when it comes to his career. I feel like he's trying to feel what really is going to benefit him in the future because I feel he may not be exactly happy with being an idol right now. He may feel that, oh, acting may be better for me or modeling may be better for me. He may not feel that being in a group is actually for him. That's what I'm kind of seeing. So he's kind of searching. He's going to keep on searching for something until it touches touch his heart and he realized dang this may be something i actually want to do more than yeah. right because right here we have the six of ones but we had it in reverse so he is feeling stuck and stagnant in his career okay and like i said with jay what i want to add on is i feel like this could be um something that he um don't really like, he knows, but I don't think he actually has told anybody yet. Maybe he hasn't even let it, his group know that, oh, I'm feeling this way, or even his company. Yeah, he's carrying a lot of emotional baggage, okay? Like I said, he's bearing all his emotions down, and, and, it's, and he's carrying it with him. And eventually, when anyone does that, it's like you put so much it's like a volcano you, you put so much pressure 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 and then after a while it, and, and it heats up and it explodes okay um and that's what i'm getting okay eventually because um yes he's, he's, he's i feel there. like he may not be exactly happy with um like i said the i feel like he wants more recognition and more success i feel like right now he's feeling very stagnant in a way he's feeling like okay i'm not really getting what i want he's very worried about the situation you know he's worried about what's going on in his life you know he's so worried he can't even move he can't he's just standing still uh, trying to figure it out just poor thing Yeah, worry. That's a lot of worry. He's feeling lost. Even though he has the map, everything is inside him. But he's so he his, he's it's covered up with so many emotions from his past that he can't even see his way. Mm -hmm. The law is not justice in reverse. I feel like he's listening to other people. I feel like he's listening to authority versus doing what he wants to do, and he's not really thinking independently on his own. He's kind of like listening to what they got to say versus what he actually want to say or do. And I pulled the happiness card here. It says, I am aware that being happy means I am on the right path. Okay. So, uh, 
he equals happiness to being on the right path. And, and right now he may not be as happy, which means he thinks that he's not on the right path in his life. Okay. Mm -hmm. We got curious, sir, and curious, sir. Like I said, he's discovering new talents and new interests in his life. He's changing as a person, so he feels like this idol life may not be it for him anymore. I feel like he has discovered something new that he actually wanted to um, continue on. I feel like there's something that he didn't know that he wanted, he liked and, or enjoyed doing, and now he's doing it. I feel like he has discovered it, and now I feel like he's thinking, okay, do I want to continue still being an idol, or do I want to go and pursue this new passion that I have experienced? And I pulled the justice card here, okay? You see, he's standing there. With he wants fair. He wants justice. Okay, it says, be impartial and objective. Stand up for what you believe Try to see all sides of a situation and you will win if you position yourself in one of integrity, okay? So, he will definitely receive justice if he can stand with integrity, okay? Yeah, let me pull some of these classes. And he wants to be able to stand with integrity, but he may even be confused about what he wants to stand for because he, he buries his emotions so much. He has the strength. He has the strength, and it's, it's buried deep down. He needs to reach down and pull that strength yep. up. And use he's it. guarded. He's guarding his money himself. He's guarding everything around him. Yeah, he's, he's so not guarded. I, I, I don't even know if he know how to feel anymore because he got so many emotions that he put down, and he hides it behind his eyes and a smile. Eight of swords and eight of wait, eight of swords and six of swords. He's feeling restricted. He's feeling like he can't really move. Like you see this person tied up. He's feeling like, oh my God, there's nowhere to go. I I can't do this I can't do that and being another company you can't really do a lot of stuff and I feel like he's ready for a change he's ready for a new transition to come out yes he's feeling very restricted you yeah. know and he's in a, he's in conflict with his members right now he's in con conflict with people around him and he's isolating himself because he don't even feel like he can actually get along with them anymore or even want to be around them because every time they're around he feels like oh a fight is always starting or disagreement is already always starting and then we got the seven of of swords, the seven of swords. I see there's some betrayal and deceit going on. I feel like he's feeling like, oh, maybe I can't trust any of my members, or maybe I can't even trust um my company, and, and that's what I'm feeling. But he's definitely having an awakening. Okay, he's having an awakening, a temporary pause for reflection and insight, an awakening where you see things in a whole new light. Embrace your uniqueness, charitable actions. Okay, he needs to embrace his uniqueness. And, and um and move away from a situation that's holding him back and and and, and the drama. Yes, and with the seven of swords connected to the awakening, he's realizing what's really going on around him. He's really realizing that oh, these people may not really have my back like they say they do. And he wants to and he wants to make more money. He wants to have wealth that's gonna cut, that's gonna last for a lifetime. Yeah. And I don't think he feel like he's actually doing that right now. Yeah, he definitely wants victory. Okay, he wants victory, and I think we all do. He said he he makes wise choices that bring public recognition and success, promotion, awards. He wants he, he wants, wants more. He wants more. Yeah, he you know he works so hard. He feel like he deserves it. And then a justice card came out again. He wants fair treatment. He wants things to be balanced between um him and the company. He wants to be able to be on the same level as other people are. Not just, oh, put on the back burner. Mm -hmm. So that's and, what he's feeling with the Five of Pentacles. And with this card right here, I pulled out the, um, this right here. It says, um, too much going on. Stress caused by many positive opportunities, unexpected events, or rapid changes. Okay, the ability to multitask business travel. Okay, so he's moving fast towards something, a new opportunity that's coming in yes. his life right now. Okay, and he's ready to move. Okay, but he may feel like he's restricted. You know, I don't know if it's due to contracts or anything like that. But opportunities are presenting itself, and he really want to move fast towards it, even though he's feeling restricted over here. Yep. Oh. Okay. The cards I just pulled was the patience card uh accelerated motion uh discontent and boredom 
obstacle and challenges. Yeah, okay. So with these cards right here, what I already see is he's bored right now with his current career and stuff. There's a new job that he wants, a new opportunity that he wants to pursue full on. And this idle life isn't for him anymore. But he, if he has patience, I feel like he will uh, find his true path and he will take it on fully. And then we got the throat chakra, shadow, and solid too. He wants something that he's able to feel happy with. And with the shadow side, I kind of see there's two sides of him. There's a side that he is right now and there's a side he wants to be. And he definitely, with his throat chakra, he definitely wants to speak on the situation. But like I said, his hands are tied. But I pulled this card right here. And it's showing that he should stand up for himself and his beliefs. Have confidence. Challenge those in power. But also choose your battles wisely. And I think that's where he's uh, uh, standing. Like, which battles should he choose? He wants to stand up and speak. He wants Because he, he's tired of being uh, held back and restricted. And, restricted. Mm -hmm. and he wants to stand in his power. But he's trying to choose his battles wisely. Because he's not the type of person that wants to cause conflict. But at the same time, he wants to be happy. Yes, and then we got authority. It's, all, it's authority. He's not pleased the way authority is acting and I feel like he feels that authority is holding him back and it's making him sad like I said he doesn't like this feeling and I feel like he is from a company that isn't very it isn't a good company so I feel like he's seeing that and, and he's really like I don't think I even want to do this anymore mm -hmm. and that goes right with logic okay this card tells you to review all documents carefully don't sign the contract okay maybe he's in a contract that that's caused him to be restricted Okay, and he can't move because of a contract. Okay, so he's sitting here with his sword, just waiting, just dreaming, just just thinking about um, an exciting new intel uh, intellectual challenge, brilliant insights, information that you need to be you need, but might be challenging to receive. Review all documents very carefully. Review all documents very carefully before you sign anything. Yes. Okay. Is there anything else you we yeah. want to share with this reading? Mm -hmm. Pull my spirit. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to share with on this reading? Okay. Uh -huh. I pulled the affair card. <laughs> An affair card. Okay. Let's see. Let's get some clarification Ooh, on that. Okay. I, I'm, okay. Okay, the cards that I pulled over here was the Disharmony card. Yeah, there's Disharmony going around him, and he isn't happy about it. And then we got uh, the um, the car another card I pulled is Hope. Like I said, he's hopeful for a new change. And then I get torn because he knows his worth, and I feel like he's like, I am a charming guy. I know my worth and stuff. But at the same time, we got uh conformity which is you can see this woman over here controlling this um this puppet and you can see this represent jay Young's company and jay Young himself he feels like he's being controlled by his company and he don't really have a say and there's nothing he can really do to he's change control, yeah he's definitely being controlled by his organization okay i definitely pulled that card yeah and then it's like he's like oh my god sorrow because look criticism so many people are i feel like he's getting criticized um he may be getting criticized and he's looking at it he's like oh lord like he's upset about it and stuff like i feel like criticism is really heavy maybe behind the scenes mm -hmm. and also from fans and i feel like he doesn't really like that i feel like yeah because he really wants to be he wants to get inspiration and he wants to be appreciated okay he wants to be appreciated for what he did he don't want to go out and, and and show his craft to the world and and get uh treated badly or, or or put down for what he's doing that, that doesn't feel good for anybody exactly and we got a uh, self-sufficiency he wants to be on his own he wants to have his own self um uh pride and his own self money he doesn't want to split it with others or have others come in and say as you can see this woman looked like she's trying to talk to this other woman but the other woman looking straight ahead like mm, i don't really care but whatever he's doing his hard work is paying off and it's going to continue paying off it will he okay. just needs to believe in himself and everything will get better hopefully yes because he's an original and i call it originality and harmony okay as long as he sticks and find who he is authentically to himself and, and get to know himself, okay? Dig into those emotions, okay? Uh, bring those emotions out and um, so that you can find who you are authentic authentically and then you will be live in harmony with yourself and you'll have success.
Yes, we got your um commitment. The last few cards I pulled from it is your commitment is being tested. Emotions are running high and conclusions are within reach. I feel yes. like his commitment to his group is being tested. I feel like he's sitting with himself and feeling like, do I even still want to be in this group? And I feel like his emotions are all over the places. And I feel like he's trying to figure out. But I feel like he is going to um, reach a solution, whether it's leaving or staying with the group. But I do see his commitment is being tested. And he's really considering, does he even want to stay with the group and continue on with his future with them? Or does he want to go solo? Because we did pull the self-sufficient card, which means he does want to do things on his own. And, and keep his own money. Yes, yeah. so he wants to... Uh, go and show who he is, okay? Um, because he's an original and he has um, something to offer the world and he wants to be able to express it freely. Without the company or without others trying to dictate that and hold him back. So that's all we get for Jay Young from NCT127. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And you can always request in the comments and see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.